So this is our third location, um, Villa Heights Elementary School. And you and I were talking a few moments ago and the word that kind of surfaced in this whole experience while we were here for 16 months was vulnerable. Yeah, vulnerability was how, I, at least I felt. Yeah. Um, we kind of had to exit our, the previous space we were just visiting abruptly. Uh, we found our way here through a, a relationship with Watershed, but it, it was uh, it was survival. Yeah. You know, you. I, this is where I started to, and I think we both, you know, in the, the quiet moments of coffee shop conversation, <laughs> We're wondering, are we going to be able to survive? Yeah, right. uh, this just—it didn't work. It—it it was a—it was a band-aid solution, yeah. um, and then, so you just—you felt it didn't you work. Felt it, it was a school during the day, and and we had to come yeah. in and completely transform it. So it would take us a couple hours to set it up, and a couple hours to tear it down. So yeah. everything was just heavy and grueling, taxing, taxing, taxing on our staff, on our volunteers. But I think the thing that so there was a a, a sense of being you know sort of vulnerable. But then, like, it, there was a, this notion of commitment and sacrifice. Yeah. You, know, you had to really believe Watershed was going to be something to, to stay the course yeah, right. here uh, because there wasn't, a, it just wasn't very appealing in terms of the, the actual space. But, you know, the, the people that we had picked up along the way and then folks that showed up here yeah. while, if, if they could find us tucked yeah, away right. back in this neighborhood, um, they started to believe in who we were and, and they, they were, there was a commitment here. It took a lot of manpower and energy and just love for this thing to continue on in spite of this. And so um, it was a significant, it was, it was significant. And again, if you're trying to like frame it over the death resurrection narrative, I, I think there, you know, Jesus certainly felt vulnerable. Yes. And again, if, if death resurrection is about what's what what happens versus what happened? Um, you're going to go through that season. Yeah. You're going to feel powerless, yeah. and not know like what the future. Will I really rise from the dead? Yeah, right. <laughs> and I think a little bit of that might have been going on for us in hindsight. Mm -hmm.